a couple of people have asked me if I've ever made any flower frosting and if I could make a video about it. I've never made it before, but one thing I've wanted to do lately is try to make some Twinkies. And when I looked on King Arthur's Flowers website, their uh, Twinkie filling recipe is the uh, flower frosting. So I'm going to make some and see how it turns out. And I've read reviews uh, from other people on this recipe and uh, other flower frosting recipes, and they have kind of mixed results with it. So let's see how I do with it. Uh, you need to take half a cup of milk and two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Just mix that together and then cook it until it forms a thick paste. And say not to cook it too long or it'll start browning. So there's the thick paste. Now I need to let this cool for one minute and add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, it's cooled for one minute, so I'm adding half a teaspoon of vanilla. Then they say to cover it with plastic wrap to keep a skin from forming. So I'm going to try to pile this up in the center and put a piece of plastic on it. Okay, it's covered with plastic wrap. Now I need to let it cool completely. While the flour mixture is cooling, I'm going to whip together four tablespoons of salted butter and four tablespoons of shortening. Now I'm going to add half a cup of sugar and a pinch of salt. One complaint that somebody had was that this frosting was crunchy. And I assume that this sugar didn't dissolve completely, so I'm going to let this sit while the flour paste cools and hopefully some of that sugar will dissolve. For the cake part of the Twinkies, I'm cheating. I'm using French vanilla cake mix. And since this is a white cake, I added uh, six drops of yellow food coloring to the batter to make it yellow so that it'll look more like a Twinkie. I've never tried this before either, so who knows, this might be the secret to a Twinkie. <laughs> and I have uh, this little pan that I bought. This is really nice. It's one of those silicone pans, and it has the um, like metal in the side so it won't bend on you. So I'm going to fill these little Twinkie pans about halfway full, three quarters full. This pan is made by Chicago Metallic, if you're interested. And I bought it at a craft store, AC Moore Craft Store. Now that the flour mixture has completely cooled, I'm going to pull off the plastic wrap and beat the flour mixture and the sugar mixture together for five minutes. So here's how the filling turned out. It's very light and fluffy and it's not overly sweet. And I can still taste the granulated sugar in it a little bit. It's still a little bit, it didn't dissolve completely. And I beat this for well over five minutes, probably close to 10. Uh, but hopefully it'll dissolve as it sits for a while. I baked these for about 25 minutes. Now I'm taking them out of the pan and setting them on a plate to cool. As you can see, they come out of this pan very easily. And you don't want to overfill the pan because you end up with that. These pans are great because you don't have to grease them. To fill the cakes, all you have to do is put some filling in a decorator bag, stick it in the bottom of the Twinkie, and squeeze. You can fill it when it as it fills up on the back side. And you can see it kind of puff out on the sides too. And that's it. And there's your Twinkie. So that's how the Twinkies turned out. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's pretty darn close. I'd say it's pretty good for homemade. 
Uh, the flower frosting is very good. In fact, I think I like it better than frostings that are made with confectioner sugar. It's not as sweet and it's very uh, light and creamy. It's perfect for the Twinkie filling. Um, and the graininess of the granulated sugar seems to fade away as it sits a while. Uh, according to King Arthur's website, uh, this filling can sit at room temperature for three to four days. Uh, and again, I used uh, the Duncan Hines French Vanilla Cake. Uh, I added six drops of yellow food coloring to give it the yellow color. And uh, some people are using a pound cake for this, and some are using a sponge cake. But I think this French Vanilla is pretty close. Um, they're not exactly like the Genuine Twinkie. I don't think anybody's going to uh, duplicate that. Uh, but this is very close and they're very good. I will definitely make these again. And one box of cake mix made two pans of uh, the Twinkie pan uh, for a total of 24 Twinkies and that frosting was more than enough to, to fill all of them. So that's how I made Twinkies. I hope it helps.